Hey guys, how's it going? Greg here. As you can see, I'm on Coursera on the Generative AI with LLMs page. Basically, they made this course and it says June 2023, and I completely missed it. I, I didn't see any of the tweets or anything about it at all. Um, so I'm going to give a review of it. Notice that I have not taken this course. So this is not a review of all of the particular content. It's just an overview of what they're going to talk about and my thoughts on if that's going to be useful to you or not. So firstly, as everyone can see, 4.8 stars is very, very good. 504 reviews, so not one of their more taken courses. Maybe their advertisement for this was just lacking a little bit. I don't know. Intermediate level with recommended experience. So they suggest that you know how to code in Python. Pretty standard. Uh, it's a short course, so 16 hours to complete. And of course, at your own pace. So this is not just a theoretical course. It is also a practical course. So you're going to learn about generative AI as a whole. And you're going to get instruction from expert AWS AI practitioners. So that's a very practitional side to it. It's more on a little bit of what's going on and then how you're going to start actually doing useful things with it, uh, which as we've seen with ChatGPT, getting use of generative AI is getting very, very easy nowadays. And so if you're kind of in that middle space where you know a lot about how ChatGPT, like how to, how to work it itself, a lot of people don't, and you know a bit about the machine learning on how to unravel those LLMs and get more experience out of it, that's what they're gonna teach you in this course. Uh, that's gonna be really, really helpful for companies and for your own personal side projects to do some great things. So some pretty expected skills, that doesn't surprise me at all. Zero quizzes and zero assignments, that's okay. It's a short course. So firstly, we've got a bit of an introduction, then LLM use case and tasks, talk a little bit about text generation before transformers, so like LSTMs, and then those got completely crushed by transformers. And so from here on, we're just gonna be talking about those and just LLMs is the big term. A little bit about the architecture. I gotta be honest, I, I haven't seen this video, but I guarantee you seven minutes is not long enough to understand the transformer architecture at all, um, but it will help probably say something about how they helped parallelize things. And they're a lot better with context within sentences. Prompt and prompt engineering. So there's a whole course on that. I'll link that in the description if that's something that you'd like to check out. AWS, so you're going to start actually doing stuff on the cloud. Not too much as you can see, uh, but they'll do a little bit there. And then we have fine tuning is week two. So fine tuning is basically, as they say here, fine tuning on a single or particular task. That's how to take something that's really, really good at understanding, say, language, and then applying it to your own model, which is really useful. And companies are going to be doing a lot of that as they have a lot of very specific data to their company. Uh, but ChatGPT hasn't have, doesn't have access to that, at least I mean, it has access to Twitter and so many other things. Who knows what it has access to? But uh, basically, yeah, a company would, might want to train an LLM or fine tune one on their own data to get uh, results on their information. General machine learning here, model evaluation and benchmarks. Um, never heard of these things. That's cool. That's looking a little bit mathy. I like it. I might actually take this. Week three, reinforcement learning and LLM powered applications. This uh, may seem kind of random to you if you're not super, super in the culture. Uh, but to me, this is just a different way of saying this is why ChatGPT kicks ass. Like it's uh, all of this stuff. It's like uh, fine tuning LLMs. We did that since about like 2019 or so. And all these transformer architecture stuff. It was really, really helpful. And people knew that it was going to be powerful, uh, but it just wasn't really quite powerful yet. And so here is where we really started kicking ass, or I can't say we, OpenAI uh, really started kicking ass with the um, reinforcement learning via human feedback, basically. So they had they have a massive company where they have tons and tons of data, an LLM that is powered on that data, and it understands the text really well. But then what it's able to do with reinforcement learning from literal human feedback is say, hey, give it to a bunch of humans, and they're going to be like, this response sucks, I would rather that you do this one. And so they're gonna tell you how that works. The reward model is basically optimizing the human satisfaction of the response. But uh, yeah, basically all of this is gonna combine together to really make uh, something that's basically ChatGPT. And then they do a little bit about AWS on there, how to do that as well. There's some mathy stuff as well, KL divergence, that's kind of crazy. And that's the course. So. What I can definitely say on the outside is that this is going to be super valuable. 
What I also would say is that if you're not super in the machine learning culture, uh, something like maybe just the prompt engineering course might be a little bit easier to understand. Uh, but you can you can understand anything sort of at any level of experience. Um, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if you got deterred from some of this stuff because just knowing a little bit of Python is honestly not really going to be enough here. So you can pick and choose kind of what you want to see. But yeah, uh, I'll let you guys see it in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.